Welcome to Electron Online. Now in this example, again, when we try to plug in the limit as x approaches infinity into this expression, we get an undefined expression because here we would get infinity squared minus infinity and basically infinity squared or infinity, there's no difference, that's undefined number, so an undefined number minus an undefined number is undefined. So initially it looks like we cannot plug in the limit. However, again, there's a trick here. When we plug in the trick, we can do this. Let's factor the next and see what we get. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches infinity of x times x minus 1. Now we can go ahead and plug in the limit. So that small change here makes all the difference in the world. So this is now equal to infinity times infinity minus 1. And of course infinity minus 1 is simply uh, infinity. So this would be infinity times infinity. And of course infinity times infinity, that is infinity. And that would then be the limit of this expression when let x go to infinity. So the limit is infinity, it's no longer undefined. And so just by factoring an x, we can now go ahead and plug in the limit. Quick, it's a quick, easy example, but it's very powerful. If you don't know what to do, there's the trick.